Welcome back everybody. So what's the best kind of traction in snow? All wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or four wheel drive? The answer coming up. So here is today's 60 second pit tip. So some of our customers end up moving here from flatland areas. We call them flatlanders. But here in the Rocky Mountains, the kind of vehicle that you drive can be crucially important. So it begs the question, what is the best configuration for winter driving in the Rockies? Well, first we'll start with rear wheel drive. So with rear wheel drive, you don't have much traction, but state troopers drive with rear wheel drive all the time. But again, they had training. So next up is four wheel drive. Now four wheel drive, you flip that switch and all four wheels are going to be spinning at the same time. Now four-wheel drive is great, but you do have a bit of lockup on the front axle on four-wheel drive vehicles, especially shift on the fly, because of the fact that all four tires are trying to spin at the same rate. So when you're doing a turn, you're getting a little bit of tire grab in those turns because the front axle is slightly fighting the rear axle. You also have to keep in mind that most four-wheel drive shift on the fly systems have to be done either at a stop or at very slow speeds in order to engage. You can engage it going at interstate speeds. And lastly is all wheel drive systems like most Subarus. Now it's no surprise why Subarus are some of the best selling vehicles in the Rockies, specifically for that all wheel drive reason. Now there are different variations of all wheel drive systems. Some that are all time all wheel drive. There are some that engage based on the traction of the vehicle that will stay in two wheel drive and then engage in all wheel drive once the other axle starts slipping. So what is the best traction for snow time driving? Well, the winner is all wheel drive. And that's mainly because there is no thought process to how to actually engage that system. It's done all automatically. But for those of you who have lived in Colorado or the Rocky Mountain region long enough, you can typically drive in anything as long as you have great tires with good traction and know how to drive in those winter conditions. So be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and our website, pitstopcarcare.com. Yeah, I know that wasn't 60 seconds.